Hello, my name is Paul Binion. I'm one of the sales engineers here at Hard Dollar Corporation, and I'm going to walk you through how you can use grouping both in Hard Dollar and then also in Primavera and be able to keep in sync the different user defined categories that you're using in both systems so that you can uh, use them together in organizing your estimate and schedule. So, as you can see, I have a column that I brought up. This is a user defined field. Uh, it's actually a tag kind of field. And I've defined different areas uh, that I'm assigning to the different cost items in the project that I'm working on. So I'm organizing it into the different areas. As you can see, area one, area two, some parts of the uh, project are in area three. And this allows me to be able to do things such as sorting and grouping. You can see I can pull this area up, uh, that column up into its own area. And now I have my project organized into those three different areas. Um, I can expand and collapse them, and it subtotals the cost, man hours for each of those areas. It just allows me to be able to look at my estimate in different ways or my budget and be able to group it however I'd like. Whenever I want to clear that grouping, I can do so. Well. Perhaps I may want to do the same thing over on the Primavera side. If I jump over to Oracle Primavera, you can see that I have that same column that I've defined in Primavera. Well, I want to automatically have this area column populate with the Area 1, Area 2, Area 3 assignments that I've made to the project on the hard dollar side. I would like that information to feed over to Primavera as well. Well, inside of the job properties in hard dollar uh, if I go there you can see that on, on my schedule tab and then under the tags sub tab I have the ability to assign what user defined code or field hard dollar will match up with in Primavera as you can see I've already def defined that here here we have the area tag in hard dollar is matching up with the area default um, that it automatically populated into Primavera. So if I pull up the little browse option here, as it says, you can select the Primavera field uh, from the list of all of their activity codes and user-defined fields. And we are going with that area default. So when I want to update Primavera with that information, I simply go back to my my breakdown structure here and use my synchronization button to update Primavera from HD and in this case we just want to update the tags so I click OK and let's see what it does you see it's going through looking through those tags to Primavera we see information the area tag for example update into Primavera so when we uh, see a complete there we can jump over to Oracle Primavera I don't yet see anything in there because like always I have to hit the refresh button or the F5 key, and we now see all of that information the different areas populate right into that area user defined field in Primavera so that I can do the same kind of grouping and slicing and dicing of my project breakdown structure uh, that I did on the hard dollar side well thank you very much we'll talk to you next time